Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Schnellis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our nephrology playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the embryology of the kidney, the anatomy of the kidney. We talked about nephrotic syndrome, when I'm losing lots of proteins in the urine. And we talked about nephritic syndrome, when I'm losing a lot of blood in the urine. We also talked about acute renal failure and chronic renal failure. And in the last videos, we talked about pyelonephritis and acute tubulo interstitial nephritis. Today, we shall talk about a different topic, which is contrast-mediated nephropathy. Some of the radiological imaging procedures performed at the hospital require a contrast agent, mostly made of iodine or something similar. Good news, it gives us a beautiful picture of your body. Bad news, someone has to deal with all of that contrast. Who's that? Your kidneys. If your kidneys are robust, you will have no problem. But if you have poor kidneys, if you're an old person, if you have kidney disease, diabetes, hypertension, if you're dehydrated, etc., etc., boy, you are in trouble. Please watch the videos in this nephrology playlist in order. If you recall from my video on acute renal failure or acute kidney injury, we had three categories of causes. Pre-renal, when the problem is before the kidney. Intra-renal, when the problem is in the freaking kidney or post-renal when the problem is after the kidney. If I take iodine contrast and my kidney is poor, iodine is gonna hit the kidney itself. The radio contrast agent is toxic to the kidney, i.e. a cause of renal acute renal failure or intrarenal AKI, intrarenal azotemia. Do you remember the three types of azotemia? Pre-renal, intrarenal, and post-renal. We have talked about all of this in great detail before in this nephrology playlist. And acute tubular necrosis is intrarenal renal failure. And this intrarenal could be caused by what? Hypoxic or toxic? Do you remember the causes of toxic ATN? Oh yeah, we had many toxins. One of which is the radiocontrast agent, which is today's topic. So here's the thing, my doctor injected me with the contrast dye to see my body in a more clear fashion. Example, contrast CT scan or intravenous pyelogram, which requires a contrast. And then 36 to 70 hours later, if I had poor kidney function to begin with, I will start to suffer from symptoms of kidney injury. In the lab, serum BUN and serum creatinine are high. These are waste products, and now my poor kidney that has been injured cannot get rid of these wastes. But hey, medicosis, what's the pathogenesis of this? How did this happen? Well, the radiocontrast agent causes vasoconstriction of renal vessels. Not good, because this lowers the perfusion. It can also injure the tubules directly, causing acute tubular necrosis. Also, this is a highly osmotic agent, which can lead to osmotic damage of my tubules. Next, who is more vulnerable? Which one is at risk? Patients with chronic kidney disease or acute renal failure, especially if they are old and dehydrated and in the ICU. Patients with multiple myeloma or any Benz-Jones proteinuria. Patients with diabetic nephropathy or patients with chronic liver disease. How can we decrease the risk? Hydrate the patient big time. And you can give allopurinol. It lessens the toxic effects of the contrast agent on my kidneys. Now to my favorite part in the entire stinking lecture. Pearls for the pros. Urate nephropathy or uric acid nephropathy. What's going on? Maybe I have gout. Maybe I have lead poisoning, which increases the risk of hyperuricemia. Or maybe I have lots of lysis. Hemolysis, tumor lysis, rhabdomyolysis. Any lysis of any cell in your body will pew, rupture the cell and the cell will vomit whatever was inside, such as potassium, phosphate, and purines, giving me uric acid, because the cell has a nucleus, right? Nucleus has DNA, and DNA has purines and pyrimidines. All of that uric acid in the blood, i.e. hyperuricemia, can go to the kidney. It can damage the kidney, and it can also lead to precipitation of uric acid or urate crystals. Uric acid stones, which are rhomboid in shape under the microscope. If you damage my kidney tubules, you can cause acute kidney injury. Do you want to learn about the different types of shock, like hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, obstructive shock, anaphylactic shock, septic shock, neurogenic shock, etc.? Then download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. I also have a course that will teach you about the normal kidney physiology on my website.
right? If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button, get you a membership at the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos. Subscribe, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.